Hello, I'm Rick Green. I've been with David Barton for 15 years, teaching on the Constitution all across the country and also doing his constitutional commentaries on his radio program. Been a practicing attorney for 18 years. Julie, thank you for your amazing leadership of this organization and thank you for endorsing me in this race. Give Julie a hand, first of all. If you go to my website, you'll find that Julie and Joanne Fleming and Tea Party leaders across the state have endorsed me. There are conservative leaders not only across Texas but across the nation like Dr. James Dobson that have endorsed me, General Jerry Boykin, of course David Barton, my, my partner in crime if you will and what we do to bring back the truth of our founding fathers, but also a lot of conservative legislators like Matt Krause and Bill Zedler and Senator Donna Campbell and some guy named Stickland. I don't know if any of y'all know him or not. Uh, but, but, but all these folks are, are endorsing me for the same reasons that great legal minds in Texas are endorsing me. Folks like Kelly Shackelford, uh, others around the country like Mike Ferris and Matt Staver, Judge Paul Pressler, Judge Rene Diaz. Why are all of these folks that are on the front lines of the battle to restore our constitutional republic endorsing me. Why are they saying we need Rick Green's expertise and experience on the Texas Supreme Court now? Why? Why would they pick me over an incumbent that's been there for more than 20 years? Well, if you're for judicial term limits like I am, that's good enough right there. That would be a good enough reason. But that's not why they have endorsed me. They've endorsed me for a very simple reason. In fact, drafted me to run for this place against this incumbent for this very reason. Our religious liberties and our constitutional freedoms are being challenged in the state courts like never before. There is a flood of cases coming to the courts challenging everything you hold dear. And these leaders, because they are in those trenches fighting those battles often at those courts, they do not want some blank slate justice in that position. They don't want to leave those tough decisions to someone that even after 20 years, we don't know what their judicial philosophy is. With me, you don't have to wonder. I have a very open, public, everybody says constitutional conservative, but it's not enough to talk like a duck. You've got to walk like a duck to be a duck, all right? For my entire, entire career, I have had a solid conservative record. Look at my legislative record. I served in the legislature for two terms. I got every Faith and Family free and Freedom Award. I got the Fighter for Free Enterprise Awards. All of those things, why? Because in the face of adversity, when our principles were on the line and when the winds of, uh, uh, of popular culture might have been swinging the other way, I didn't bend. And because I stood for truth at the right time, at the right place, all of these folks say that's what we need on the courts right now. This is not about judicial pedigrees. In fact, folks, you don't want nine justices all cut from the same cloth. You don't want everybody to come from the same elite legal clubs. We need someone like me on the court. We used to have, in fact, half of the, well, 47%, depending on who you talk to, half of the justices that ever served on the Texas Supreme Court had no prior judicial experience. It's good to have people on the court that have business experience like me or legislative experience like me. We used to have legislators that served on the court. Uh, often did that. We need that again. If you put me on the Supreme Court, I will defend our Constitution. Uh, I'll give you two pieces. I'll leave you with two pieces of evidence why I'm the right Green to vote for. My opponent is also named, named Green, by the way, so you've got to pick Rick. So make sure you pick Rick. Remember that, all right? Two Greens in the race. Uh, but, but two pieces of evidence. Number one, the marriage case this summer in our Texas court went the wrong way. It was 5-3 to 1. If Rick Green had been the one on the court instead of Paul Green, it would have gone the right way. All right, that's very important. It gives you an indication of where somebody is on their view of defending our constitutional definition of marriage and making sure our attorney general is able to defend that as well. And the second piece of evidence is that set of experiences, those things that you can look at that you know about me, why all these people are endorsing me, because they know my belief system, they know my philosophy, and they know I'll stand strong. Let me tell you something. The, the, the legal elite establishment they are going nuts right now because they know we can win this race, all right? I ran in 2010. We barely lost. I won the, the primary out of six and barely lost the runoff. This time we have twice the money, twice the endorsements, twice the team, the momentum. The Tea Party wasn't, was just barely getting going at that time. Uh, we now have Julie and, uh, and you guys in this room, and with that, we can win this race. But let me tell you, they're going to attack me relentlessly just like they always have. Uh, uh, they've been doing that to me for 17 years, so it's nothing new. They're rehashing all the same old stuff. Had to sue for defamation in 2010 and won a settlement uh, and a retraction and apology from some of the biggest media in Texas and, 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 and uh, lobby groups. That doesn't happen very often, folks. Uh, they're going to come after me again. So you need to know that that's all just rehashing the same old stuff, and we're going to keep our joy, and we're going to keep standing for truth. We're not going to return their, 
dishonest tactics, but what we are going to do is fight hard. We're going to get the grassroots like you out there, and we're going to put a constitutional watchdog on the court. Don't forget to pick Rick if you want the Constitution guy. God bless you guys.